Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over some ClickFunnels 2.0 landing page assets. These are big sections that you can utilize and kind of drag and drop into your landing page that you might not be familiar with. And there's one in particular that I really like and I want to show you that in this video. If you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, you can follow along by using my link in the description. If you click that, you can get a two week free trial. And if you're a customer already, you can still use that to log in and follow along if you like. So where I am as always, we're going to be in this section over here, funnels, creating a new funnel I'm just creating another one as a demo so i'm going to do landing page assets create funnel and what i want to do is add your first step by clicking here click on page once again i'm just going to go with a blank page or a blank template i did a separate video about this in case you're unfamiliar but i'll show you right here instead of looking for a template you're just going to click on new page i'm just going to give it a name and a page url one sec okay it's called it landing assets for landing page assets and create page and let's click on edit so here we are with our blank page what i'm just going to do is say add a section here uh, let's do wide, we'll do one column, and we'll keep it like that. Anyway, if you go over my assets, I thought this was great. If you look at it right here, there's universal sections, there's headers, there's stacks, there's footers, there's subheaders, there's features, there's about us, testimonials, team sections, offer sections, FAQs, content sections, CTA scroll stoppers, navigations, and general sections. Uh, this is something I don't remember if ClickFunnels 1.0 had sections like this. I know a lot of other landing page builders do. So if this is something that is newer, uh, I think it's great. What we can do is just kind of drag and drop it here. And if you'll notice, we now get pretty much everything we're looking for within this specific section. So for example, if we wanted to use this, you know, free, let's see, 88 percent, where's the percent sign? The mic's in the way, <laughs> you know, opt-in uh, case study, of course, something like that. And what we can do for you, all right, and is just go in there and edit everything we want. You know, if this was here and we didn't want this, we can delete this specific section. Obviously, that would stay there. Your logo can go there and change it around. Let's do undo a little. The power of undo. I remember when ClickFunnels 1.0 was out, uh, they didn't have an undo button for the longest time. Uh, I don't know if you're around for that, but it was painful. I'm glad they do now. So another example would just be, say, header three. Uh, and I really like this. Once again, this is kind of another way of adding more templates instead of there's bigger sections or blocks. And there is one I really like. So we have some headers. The stacks, I think you're really going to like, especially if you're selling a product. Normally, you have to kind of create these yourself. You have to create the sections, add all the stuff. But if you notice, everything here is already done for you where it's just plug and play. This would be your image. Obviously, this could be stack product number here. So you could say like your epic training and let me double click there we go it's clicking off the wrong thing before let's see over the shoulder case study this would be like another bonus done for you templates so for example if you're doing webinars i know russell is very big on the stack where it shows everything you're going to be getting your training and you pretty much just list all of these here and say if there's too many you know just delete one of them so the normal value it's already crossed out you know you can change this around to whatever that is only today you know normally and then today and then get started you could have a button here you can have a link but i think this looks beautiful overall like normally it's going to take a little bit more sweat equity in terms of being able to create something like that uh whatever you want to call it i'm probably gonna have to hit undo a few times okay since i made a few edits there let's continue looking at it and that's pretty much what i'm showing you here there's even more so let's drag this one in here and I love that aspect. I mean, this looks beautiful. Okay, once again, everything you're going to be getting, you could even create this and save this image to use it on a webinar slide just to give you some more ideas. Uh, stacks work great, especially for the fact that it tells you everything you're getting, the overall value of it. And then, of course, like the discount or sale price whenever you're going to be selling it. So those are a few of the stacks. We also have some footers and headers. So if you're not big on doing footers or you just want a section to be at the bottom like that, you know, it would look something like that where your logo is there. You can change around the colors. Let's go to my assets again. Scroll down a little bit more. So feature sections. Okay. Let's look at one of these. This is great. I guess if you have a sales funnel section or not a sales funnel, if you're doing a landing page and you have something where you want to talk about like why it's important, how it's going to help, obviously with benefits here, a little bit more about it and a call to action picture there, which you could easily replace. Once again, undo is working overtime today. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit more about us section. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Let's just take a look at it. I love the simple ones, simple colors. 
I think that looks great. You know, add an image there, even like get your signature done, make it look professional about your instructor. This is a great section if you're selling any type of course. Once again, we have our call to action in each of these spots, very smartly done. Because you never know when someone's going to see something they like and it's going to allow them to, you know, get started. Like if Tom Brady was doing a football course, you're going to get a lot more people probably hopping on once they realize he's doing it. Like that would be a good spot for it. Just as a random example off the top of my mind. A lot of about us sections. That's good. Testimonials. These are great as well. So for this, all you would need to do is obviously highlight this, change around the image. Then, of course, you already have the boxes. You can change around the colorings. Those look great. What other... Uh, Customers are saying, scroll down a little bit more. I think we're at testimonials. Perfect. So a lot of different ways of doing that. So 13 team sections. Okay. People behind the brand. A lot of those as well. Offer sections. Once again, this is great. Uh, a lot of affiliate marketers would like this. If there's multiple offers you are promoting, or maybe you have a landing page where it's like the best, you know, sales funnel builder where you have the benefits and the bonuses of each. So you can kind of distinguish between which ones someone might want to get. That's an example of that. That looks great as well. Let's look at it on mobile. Cause these are probably, yeah, as I expected, it's going to be one on top of the other. There's the mobile view as well. Let's look at like one or two more. I think we had the offers here. Okay, a few more there. This one looks great. Okay, what you're gonna get, very similar to the offer stack, except we have four there. And once again, they're usually gonna be on top of each other. Okay, as expected. That's what happens, it shrinks up a little when you're gonna be uh, using the mobile. And then of course we have FAQ. Okay, so you got some templates for those. CTA scroll stoppers, let's take a look at this. Ready to get started here today and achieve this amazing thing? Okay, so that's, you know, obviously it's going to be a CTA scroll stopper depending on what you write, all right? So that's something you're going to have to uh, figure out. And then, of course, we have navigations uh, pretty much for a top bar, general sections, and some basic stuff. So overall, that's an example about what the, um, the My Assets are all about. I really like them, especially with these stacks. I think these stacks are phenomenal. Like I said, normally it's very tedious to go in there and edit all the minute details about the borders, the colors, but here you're just going in, you're changing around what you want to use. And I think that just looks marvelous. So I uh, hope you got some value out of this video. I hope this helps you when it creates your comes to creating your landing pages, depending on what you're going to want to be doing. It seems like there's a lot of assets and sections for various landing pages, which is always a good thing. So that's definitely a thumbs up there. If you'd like to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will have my link in the description for a free 14-day trial. And that's about it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.